if you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi. Yesterday, Microfocus has released its newer version of Load Runner and Performance Center. The version is 12.62. In this video, we are going to see what's new in Load Runner and Performance Center 12.62. There are a lot of enhancements, bug fixes, and features in, as released in this newer version, particularly for True Web Protocol in Vuegen 12.62. As you already know, I have published a brand new course on True Web Protocol in Udemy. Please check it out because I will be posting lots of videos about 12.62 True Web Protocol. Please use the coupon code YouTube for heavy discount. Now let us dive into the what's new section of Load Runner and Performance Center 12.62. As you see in the screen, I have already installed the newer version 12.62. And also I have posted couple links in the description where you will be able to uh, go directly what's new section for load runner and performance center. First we will dive into Vuegen 12.62. As I mentioned earlier, this Vuegen 12.62 comes with new features in TrueWeb protocol. Now you can generate TrueWeb scripts using TrueWeb proxy recorder or also and uh, you can generate it using a captured HAR file. And now it supports debugging. So initially uh, debugging you need to use some extension in Visual Studio Code. But now you can debug your TrueWeb scripts in Vuegen. And you will get a brand new uh, UI for the parameters uh, which is uh, uh, makes our lives easy. And if you are working in Java protocol now it supports uh, JDK 11. And uh, you can use IntelliJ IDE to develop your scripts. And uh, if you are working in .NET, now it supports .NET Framework 4.7. And for Citrix, it supports uh, XenApp and Xen Desktop version 7.14 and 7.15 respectively. And if you are working in PCOIP protocol, now you can see the new function PCOIP underscore sync underscore on underscore bitmap underscore x API. So these are the main uh, features of uh, Vuegen 12.62. So a lot of functions, I mean, a lot of features has been added in Performance Center. So Performance Center comes with uh, new features like Dockerized Controller Hosts, where you can provision the uh, elastic uh, and uh, deprovisioning of controller hosts on Windows. And it's a tech preview feature. And uh, Load Generate ca Agent comes with a lot of enhancements, um, mainly on the uh, UI-based protocols, where you can run the users in the interactive RDP session. Uh, using the agents as a service and uh, it supports a CA APM integration. So this performance center 12.62 comes with the integrated monitoring uh, from CA APM uh, tool and uh, with respect to CA CD uh, they have released the new TFS plugin so that uh, you'll be able to uh, repeat the uh, attempt to run tests on the time start failure. So if, if something is failing, it will try to attempt again. And also support for the latest uh, Team City version. And uh, of course, there is a new plugin uh, for the Team City. And with respect to SCM, uh, I, I, now the Performance Center uh, uh, comes with uh, Git via Jenkins. So we can uh, we can uh, uh, sync the scripts, uh, load runner and JMeter. Uh, from the GitHub repository and also you can uh, sync test from YAML uh, files from GitHub uh, and also you can create tests from the YAML input. So I, I'm really looking forward in my organization uh, about 12.62 so that I can try all these features and with respect to uh, reporting uh, you can track the uh, license consumption based on uh, monthly or weekly. Uh, by exporting the uh, data to CSV file. So this is one new announcement in 12.62. And with respect to TrueWeb, uh, there's new runtime settings for the pacing and also a command line option for the TrueWeb scripts. So as you know, TrueWeb is the tech preview version and you can check it out my Udemy course uh, in um, uh, using the coupon code YouTube where you will get heavy discount. And uh, the new REST APIs uh, for uh, to retrieve the Docker images for a particular project and also you'll be able to configure the uh, provisioning uh, settings uh, if you're using the docker load generator. 
so these are the stuffs or uh, new in uh, performance under 12.62 so starting tomorrow uh, i will try to post a brand new uh, series of uh, loader 12.62 and also check in udemy about uh, true web uh, 12.62 so thanks for watching uh, have a great day if you like my